Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab and my name is George Fomichev. In this video I would like to tell you about our last few improvements that we have made with our laser attachments. First improvement is this new uh, heat sink. So this is fully aluminum, it has two parts and it's screwed with two uh, screws on one side and another side. So another th good thing that we polish the inside uh, uh, we polish it inside so it's mirror clean so now it distributes heat absolutely amazing so the laser collimator is installed like here so I cannot do it because I need to unsol uh, unscrew this mounts and then I use this special paste it's paste uh, you can use any CPU paste uh, to make sure that you have a very good conductivity heat conductivity another thing that was made in this heatsink that we added a small um, uh, M5 uh, screw here so now you can install a few laser beams on one plate so this is another one uh, another improvement uh, for combining two beams together now you can uh, combine it like like this you just need to screw them and also you can change a little bit of angle of the height so this is uh, where you use M5 screw for uh, for setting up two laser lasers together another thing that we made is we made a small hole here so now you can ins insert the temperature sensor and measure your temperature uh, laser temperature while it's working so it, it should work like this Okay, another thing that we made, we improved our uh, air nozzle. Now it looks like this. So uh, the air nozzle is installed to the laser uh, on any uh, on any place, maybe uh, like like this. And then you can actually you, you install it like this. Okay. And now you can change height of your air assist. So this is our new air assist device. So you add air pump here and you have the air that's blowing from here for better laser cutting and cleaner laser engraving. Another thing that we made a special edition, especially for a new year and Christmas sell-off, a new acrylic uh, laser box so it looks like this so this is limited edition uh, we use dark acrylic this is three millimeter acrylic and eight millimeter acrylic and the laser box will look like this we have temperature sensor we have voltmeter to measure incoming voltage we have a voltmeter and ammeter that measures uh, voltage and current that goes to the laser diode and we have two buttons with modes uh, like full power, uh, uh, turn off, and TTL, and Arduino mode. So what is about, what's so great about Arduino mode? So probably most of you that you know about this Arduino Nano. So if you use uh, D, let me find it, D9 pin uh, using Endurance Sketch you can actually change laser power and uh, laser duty ratio and uh, frequency when the laser is turning on and off. So you have like two parameters, frequency, a period of turning on and off, and duty ratio. So you can make like one hertz, 100% uh, power or one hertz, 1% uh, power. So then it will be like this, like every, every second, or uh, very low power, it's like very, uh, very efficient, so we install uh, Arduino board inside our laser box. Uh, and this is our laser control board that is actually using, uh, we are using in uh, 10 watt lasers, so it remains the same. We a little bit uh, made better uh, shape. Now the plastic is uh, much smoother and cleaner. So I'm not sure that I uh, told you before about the improvements that we use Zener diodes to protect uh, 
uh, uncontrollable or unexpected voltage jump. So we have these DC-DC converters that are used in 10 watt lasers in 10 watt plus and also 20 watt so we have two potentiometers here one potentiometer that sets uh, voltage so usually we recommend to set up voltage something like 4.5 volts up to 4.8 probably 4.9 is the maximum and uh, set up current something like 4 or 5 amps we do not recommend to set up higher because when the laser uh, is working and the diode is uh, getting uh, hotter then the current consumption in, is increasing and you have to set it up over here so we have it pins they uh, pins in and we have pin outs here so for here in parallel we use Zena diodes so like I said to protect the uh, burning of a DC DC converter and the laser diode so in case uh, there is a bigger voltage jump more than five point uh, one voltage then you have uh, it, it's burning uh, Zena diode then you just need to unsolder it and uh, then um, you can comp uh, you can keep working so uh, yeah I also forgot to tell you about the smaller uh, heat sinks that we're using for uh, 8 watt diodes and 8.5 diodes so they are much better and as you can see they are pretty much as uh, all height of the uh, laser collimator so it distributes heat very very well okay another thing that I'm going to tell you about 10 watt plus laser so probably most of you already know this is um, a shape uh, aluminum housing for 10 watt plus so we use a tech cooling mechanism uh, to cool down the laser and uh, laser diode so what's cool about <laughs> tech cooling so one part gets hot the other one gets really cold so we install it here between uh, two uh, b between our aluminum housing and additional external heat sink so it installed here and this part remains cold this part uh, remains pretty hot and uh, the fan is cooling it down so it keeps uh, relatively hot and this uh, part remains pretty cold so, uh, so it's, it's working like this so this installed here uh, I mean it's it's screwed inside we install diode here and now we actually do not use uh, three actually four fans and 10 watt laser and here we only use one fan here so uh, this is our new design for 10 watt laser so we don't need any more uh, three additional fans over here so one fan is only set up here okay and another thing that probably uh, some customers already got another version so we have another heat sinks so we have a variety of different heat sinks it's also installed like this so this is uh, 100 uh, millimeter height and 50 50 millimeters uh, other range so it's it's also working pretty good so we keep, keep working on that and keep improving things so another uh, common question that I receive when you get uh, lens so this is G2 lens so how do you set it up and some of our customers they have concerns so what is important that um, if you look at it it has like one part where it's glass it should be closer to the laser diode itself so in this way you have the ring uh, you know, the glass is uh, not here it's here so you screw it with this part which or where the glass is going closer to the laser laser diode so uh, yes that's uh, that's pretty much it that I wanted to tell you also do not forget to use uh, laser protective goggles it's very important uh, the light uh, is blue so 445 nanometers is uh, something between uh, blue and violet so uh, stay safe and uh, 
Yes, I think I told you everything what I was planning to tell you. Uh, so if you have any questions, please let me know uh, by emailing gf at enduranceroberts.com uh, or text me plus 7916225302. Uh, you're welcome to add me in Facebook, George uh, Fomichev, F-O-M-I-T-C-H-E-V, and you're welcome to join our, our group uh, in Facebook. We have a lot of interesting topics that we are uh, discussing. Uh, so hope that you like it. Please share it with your friends and have a wonderful engraving with us. Bye-bye.